Just a quick one, I figured I'd uh, give you a quick look at what it looks like inside uh, once I've done the choke. So basically you can see the six turns coax here. Um, they fit just inside the, the box. Um, I'll show all the wiring runs underneath it. Uh, so coax connects in the end there. Uh, the core goes to one side, shield goes to the other side and actually connects to these points here. Uh, this is a point that I thought was maybe not overly clear in the instructions that I've got. Um, and then basically from where it connects here goes into the into the winds uh, and then back in at the end there. Um, I'm just kind of hoping at this point that I've got it all the right way around and that it's going to line up. Otherwise it won't matter. I'll just run the coax around and out the back and back out the other end. So there we go. That's what she looks like inside. Um, obviously I need to push all this back inside uh, and then mount the top on it and uh, see how we go from there. Okay, so the good news is everything seemed to be falling in place. Uh, you can see that big long one there with the junction box on it. That's basically... Uh, what they refer to as pole E. Um, now as I mentioned earlier that uh, I got stuck into the wiring first before I took on I guess the, the masts and uh, and all that sort of stuff because I was a little bit confused by it. Hey buddy. Um, uh, basically the reason I was confused with it um, was not that the instructions are wrong um, but they're definitely misleading. Um, you can see here now that I've, I've, I've cut all the different sections uh, there's D up the back. Get out there, buddy. Uh, D up the back. Uh, there's C's, B's, uh, and Titan's actually standing on the A's there as we speak. Uh, there we go. There's the A's. So we've got them all laid out, uh, just like a bought one, really. Um, except I've got to mark them up now and uh, put put the where they put the screws in and the holes in where they where they're going to mount together. Um, all those uh, are marked out in the plan, so that should be fairly straightforward, hopefully. Um, and then go ahead and put the screws in for holding the wires in place, etc. Then hopefully put it together. It's probably about um, 7 o'clock or something now, so I'm going to head off for a little while, have a little bit of a break, have a bit of a nosh, and uh, come back to it a little bit later on. Before I do, though, I'm just going to point out why there was a the confusion. Um, basically, if you have a look at, say, those two ones at the back, they're referred to as um, D, the two of them, uh, I think they're about 500 each, something like that. And if you come over here and uh, have a look at the plan, let me just get seated here, there's, uh, there's your two D's here, basically they run across the bottom uh, and across here, uh, and then there's, there's three different size uh, tubes here, or Sorry, three different um, size conduit that I'm actually using here. And let me just turn this off. Okay, there we go. Um, so we're actually using three different size conduit. Um, there's sort of a medium size, which I'm using about a 20 mil. Uh, that makes up your D's, uh, your B's, and your E's. Um, then you've actually got a 25 mil, which is uh, your C's, four of your C's. Um, and then you've actually got these A's which are about a 19mm give or take and they all slide into each other. Um, but where the confusion is, is uh, like I showed you those two D's, um, they're the medium size conduit, so about the 20mm or whatever give or take, I think they're referred to as 19 in here. Um, you can actually see there's two, one there and one there. Um, now they're 500 and in, in, the def, uh, in the diagram they're referred to as D. Um, now if you actually go all the way down so you can see your D again also referred to as D uh, oops okay back there like that you can see 500 um, made out of the, the medium size uh, bar 19 I'm using 20 um, same same uh, and then you continue to scroll down again keeping in mind that on the diagram and there it's referred to as D you keep going all the way down it's actually going to give you a list of all the things you need here um, sorry about that, you can actually see there, there's a list of all the items. Now, this is where the confusion sets in, basically. Um, it's obviously just like a standard Excel document, something like that, and you've got your uh, rows down here, A, B, C, D, E, etc., and so on. Now, if you actually zoom in and have a look at what's beside D, it's actually going to tell you you need four pieces rather than the two that are referred to in the diagram. It's going to tell you they're 250mm long. 
Um, and it's actually going to tell you it's the, the heaviest uh, size tube that you've got. Uh, there it is there, in a diameter and outer diameter. Um, but what we actually know is the, 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 the there's, there's two Ds and they're 500 mil each. And they're actually listed down here as E. Just there. So obviously that causes some confusion. So, you know, I'm looking at this going, right, these are what I need, these are the sizes, going back to the diagram, looking at the diagram, and thinking, well, hang on, this is saying that I need to have four, but I've only got two. Um, you know, I, I'm not understanding how this piece fits together. Where am I missing a piece that doesn't make sense? Anyway, so uh, getting back to it, sorry I had to interrupt some other dog. Um, so basically getting back to it, you can see that uh, the diagram here and the and the rows down the side completely forget these um, if you're going off this these these have no association whatsoever they're just simply from the uh, I don't know from from the the Excel document or something like that they have no correlation to what the actual items are um, which is a little bit disappointing look I didn't pay anything for this um, I'm certainly not knocking uh, the guy who did it and I will give him some credit in the intro and when I finish it off um, these have been a great help um, and hopefully are going to make you know the whole process a lot easier um, but could have got rid of these um, what I might actually do is if, if I get this completed I'm actually successful I'm going to redo the measurements um, for myself using um, uh, you know d different sizes um, rather than using well all the various different sizes and um, having them slide into each other what I'm actually going to do is probably pick a heavier heavier diameter or bigger diameter um, conduit uh, and just basically have that go all the way out it'll be interesting to see whether it makes much difference as far as uh, as far as weight goes because um, you can basically see here um, you've got three different diameters they all slide into each other which you know maybe if you wanted to take it portable or something who knows um, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably just going to go with B and just have you know the whole length, um, just sort of a medium diameter conduit or, or whatever pipe I decide to make. Um, I was actually looking at uh, curtain rod, um, which is you know it's uh, like a metal of some description. It's, it's relatively light, fairly rigid, um, and it's actually coated on the outside with a, with a white plastic, um, which is kind of good. But I don't know how hot that'd hold up to the weather once the weather started to get inside it and so on. And, uh, probably deteriorate pretty quick but anyway that's where we're up to I figured it out now got the plans um, still got to make this plate here um, which is basically the mounting plate there's one there and then one that goes vertical here for actually mounting on the mast um, so I've got to do those like I said I've got some flat plate around here somewhere which I've got to find um, and I'll get stuck into that but at this point I'm pretty happy with that everything's progressing and uh, we'll leave it there and hopefully next time you see me I'll have everything marked up and you know maybe together or maybe it'll be going over to the flat plate and uh, showing you the mounting bracket. Okay, cheers.